It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 21st, 2020. Romans 7 verses 6 to 12. Verse 6. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in newness of spirit, and not in the oldness of the letter. 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin but by the law, for I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. 8. But sin, taking occasion by the commandment, wrought in me all manner of concupiscence. For without the law sin was dead. 9. For I was alive without the law once, but when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. 10. And the commandment, which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. 11. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. 12. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just, and good. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy the law of God, from its very nature, is unchangeable. It is a revelation of the will and the character of its author. God is love, and his law is love. Its two great principles are love to God and love to man. The character of God is righteousness and truth, such is the nature of his law. Such a law, being an expression of the mind and will of God, must be as enduring as its author. By Ellen G. White, Great Controversy, page 467. Our prayer for you today. Dear God, our Father in heaven, you are all powerful, holy, just, good and most of all, you are our loving Father. Once again, we approach you with awe and reverence. Today, we pray that you help us to love you and love our fellow human beings. Give us the power through the Holy Spirit to faithfully obey your law. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.